<laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, didn't expect you guys to be here so soon. <laughs> what we're yeah. up to yeah, mostly me... is on, on, on Ludi's side, he's trying to hide his bribes. On my side, I'm cackling at the fact that our players today are playing two nations, both of which Cleo played and got, I think, zero points both times. <laughs> Isn't that what happened? No, no, she got some points as Poland. You she just didn't win the round. Uh, so, I mean, we're looking at a situation here where Cleo has, Cleo has played as the Aztec and Poland so far in this tournament. <laughs> Neither time has she been successful. <laughs> so we will see. We will see whether she manages to turn things around and, uh, and bring back to glory. Ludi, obviously we feel I'm, like... Corbett... I'm on team Cleo here. I'm just going to say uh, I have full faith in the Cleo's abilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel she'll get the 10 points and then... Uh... And you wouldn't be biased to say that or anything, would you? No, why would you say so? I mean, it's, I just have this strange suspicion that you might be a bit biased. And uh, here's my prediction. Uh, I think Cleo's going to lose all her personal unions repeatedly um, because that is just what happens when she plays Poland, apparently. So, yeah, PU'd by Muscovy. <laughs> that's, that's the real murder. You're going to get PU'd by Muscovy. So it surprises no one to see that Cleo, she's in a di dire straits. She's making, doing the restart strats. Let's head over to Corbett while she handles that. So Corbett, playing as Mexico. Unite the culture group, 15 coastal provinces, most stairs in the known world, highest global trade, own all provinces and trade node, and over 50 corruption. Essentially, this sounds to me like a uh, conquer Mesoamerica challenge, right? That's what's, that's what's coming. That's what's actually, uh, you know. I feel a little bit of a deja vu. Didn't someone do this before? Cleo did, and she failed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gorbit right now is kind of a power move, to be honest. When I say she failed, as I believe, I believe she got some points, but she didn't manage to fully conquer Mesoamerica. It was close, but it came down to the last, uh, the last few moments. Uh, of not what are being able the objectives, things. though? Does he need to conquer all of Mesoamerica? Because Unite Culture Group is going to be that's uh, not Mesoamerica though, because it's two culture groups in there. We got the Mayans and the Aztecs. It's true. So that's but half of uh, Mexico. Most sailors in the known world will require uh, there to be um, no other tax. Well, it could require that he changes to animus though, and that's it's true. easy to do with the restart because in order to change the animus, they've patched it uh, with this particular uh, update with 1.35 oh, but it's really? still doable you can still become um animist not gonna mm. give away too much but uh you can <laughs> still become animist from the very early bit of the campaign i'm not mm -hmm. sure if he's gonna go for that though or not it's certainly plausible it's certainly possible and yes uniting the trade node is uh is one thing he needs to do he could of course do that by um grabbing some provinces in an almost vacant trade node um i believe uh, Texas doesn't have any, it can at least, not have many tribes in it to start, so we'll see. We'll see. I think, I mean, I feel like Corbett is looking pretty good um, on these, because as you say, especially if he does the Animist flip in order to get some sailors going, puts himself in a pretty good way, but I don't know. I think he's set himself up for a bit of a challenge. And I also think it's an absolutely baller move to take on the challenge that your current opponent failed to do in an earlier week. That is, I mean, that's some pretty good stuff, you have to admit. <laughs> oh. Let's see if I can get the challenges up here and uh, we can take a look. I can, amazing. So as you can see, Cleo already has her 25 inflation challenge completed. No problems there. Um, Looking at Corbett's challenges, Ludi, is he going to get them all? And I know what you're going to say, but I'm going to make you say it anyway. Oh yeah, Corbett's got easy ones. Like 50 corruptions definitely on the border. 15 coastal provinces, easy to do. Unite your culture groups, easy. It's literally half of Mexico. It's not the entirety, mm -hmm. right? Highest mm -hmm. global trade power, trade income in the known world. Again, you, you don't need all of Mexico for that. So it's mm -hmm. easy to do. And... All provinces and trade node you would require most of that so that's where the tricky part comes in mm -hmm. you do need to do the unification for that one sailors so. either go animist which i'm guessing he's not doing because he's not doing the strat from the day yeah. one so i'm guessing he's going to try and go for unification then it would make sense it would make sense well i'd love to see a successful mesoamerican 
uh, unification. As I say, it is an absolutely baller play. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if he's able to pull that off. Cleo has already managed to complete uh, revanchism. She is, of course, doing the restart strat for that one as well. We will have think. I have other ideas. One way, and chat, I'm curious about your views on this. Um, but in terms of the um, people's ability to restart, how about if you have to restart, you are put in a five-minute jail cell and you're not allowed to do anything for five minutes. And then it costs you time to do the restarts and then it kind of becomes part. Not a huge fan of the restart. I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I don't, to be clear, I don't begrudge Cleo doing it at all. It's, uh, it makes, it makes sense. But, and I'm not saying that do that today, obviously, the, the new rules, because rule changes, I want to communicate to our players well in advance. But I feel like a five minute timeout seems like it's, seems like it could work. Not very fun for viewing. It's true, but we have the other player to watch during that time. So that's not too bad. There's the elective monarchy event. Okay, has fired. Nice. But uh, yeah, keep keeping giving feedback. And if you want to give even more feedback, then obviously we do have the uh, subscriber channels on the Discord. So if you want to support the channel by subscribing, you get access to where many of the conversations are had about how we can shape the uh, future of Speed 5 EU4 going forwards. So uh, I agree that the... It's, oh, it's a great point. Of course, Andrea and chat, thank you so much. We don't need to do a five minute, uh, you know, they sit in a jail cell. We can just take five minutes off their time. Obviously, we'd probably only do that if they were the only ones left, like if the other person had already GD'd out for whichever reason. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so Ludi. Ludi, my dear optimist. My they can do it. My 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 shining light. Tell me Cleo can get all 10 challenges. We're all doomed. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, no, uh, let's see. So three world ports is easy because she starts with the three merchants. Uh -huh. Both sides of two straights is easy. You can either go in the HRE to do it or uh, in the north to do it from the Livonians. Uh, I think she's probably going to go 50... Crimea, to be honest. Or Crimea. It's a lot of them. Obtain 55% crown lens is going to be a restart for sure. She's going to do that with the restart. Or just hold on to the crown lens as she goes along mm -hmm. the campaign. Not too hard. Village capital of the great power. Easy to do. She's got a few within weapons reach, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Nation with 10 provinces, who do you think she's going to release? Maybe, is it Transylvania 10? I'm um, not sure. I'm not certain. Mm. I'm not certain. I don't think Transylvania is 10. Maybe like oh 6 or 7, I think, Transylvania. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be interesting to see. That one, in my opinion, is the one that's going to be interesting to see. Under Prestige, legitimacy is fairly easy to do as well. Seven Especially missions with is all very of these with the EUs polls. giving nice, uh, nice yeah. prestige. So. And she pretty much has six subjects from the get go. She's got Danzig, Mazovia, Moldova, Lithuania, Bohemia, Hungary. All mm. of them easy, easy mode to get in the early bit. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I think she can easily get ten points, and that would put her twelve points, mm -hmm. and that would put her seventeen. Not sure, seventeen. Okay, yeah. with Chewy at ten. Which would mean that what she's doing now, basically, she's setting up the battle with Chewie. So she goes first, and then Chewie has to try and make sure she hasn't gone over top. Now, if she manages to get all 10 done, 12 points, she has 17 points. What that means is that she uh, needs Chewie to get, at most, um, five challenges completed. Now, uh, sorry, uh, seven challenges completed. Now, consider that Chewie is going up against Zloic. Unless Zloic, Zloic throws completely, I would say it's likely that Zloic will beat Chewie in the next round. It's not certain by any stretch. Uh, Zloic, obviously, ha we've had some problems before getting PU'd by freaking uh, um, Valachia. Uh, you know, every anything could happen. But let's say Zloic, the likely scenario, Zloic wins. If Zloic wins, that means Chewie needs to complete eight challenges to beat Cleo if... Cleo completes 10. That's hard. That's hard. Chewie has, so far in the tournament, never completed eight challenges. That would be an unheard of thing. Almost no one has. This is not talking down to Chewie. So if he were to win, if, if Zloic were to implode, Chewie could go over top of her by completing uh, only five challenges, or at least draw her by completing only five challenges for a total of seven points with the two winner. So it's close. It's close. Bro is not going in on Chewie. <laughs> Look, I'm just talking realistically. I'm just talking realistically here. But we'll see. We will see. We're going to keep eyes on uh, Clear Right here just for a second because this war 
going pretty pretty well looking uh looking good what are the what are the main next moves for the for the polish opening you think obviously the the uh bohemian pu is is the classic going for hungary i'd say going for hungary as well hmm. before the austrians get the event which gives them the pu in 55 or before the austrians attack themselves yeah mm -hmm. ai doesn't normally attack though to be fair mm -hmm. so she's mm -hmm. got time until 55 to get the hungarian pu mm-hmm Mm -hmm. But I mean, she needs six subjects. She doesn't need to make six PUs, right? She can just release Correct. a vassal or Galicia Volcini, and then you got six. Yeah, right the six there. subjects seems very doable with some PUs involved because, of course, the PUs don't count towards the strength of other subjects. So, yeah, should be should be pretty darn doable. Let's take a look over at Corbett here. Of course, Corbett, you know, in some ways, this this battle going on here is less relevant for the, the overall standings, but... What's on the line here is more than just points and overall standing. It's absolutely, you know, baller points. Because if Corbett can pull this off while in a game against Cleo, I mean, it'll be pretty. It'll be pretty epic, just to say, to manage to unify what Cleo could not unify. It's certainly a statement. And it's looking pretty good so far. Um, obviously, he's only just getting started. But uh, I don't know. So you were saying you think Corbett can complete his challenges. Can oh, he yeah, complete them easily. by unifying, by being the only tag he can see? Um, yes, I mean, two of his objectives, they pretty much require it, right? Because you need to make sure nobody else exists. So, yeah. Well, one, yeah. for sailors, just sailors. Well, let's get the, uh, let's get the, the objectives other one up. Too, yeah. The other one, too. The own old provinces and your trade node. Unless he's going for yeah. the other trade nodes around. He doesn't need to go for the Mexican yes, trade true. node, let's say. So let me check. Other trade notes he could mm -hmm. go for would be... Yes, as, as Chas is saying, uh, seven missions as Poland, pretty easy. I agree. Dax of the Flame, thank you very much for the subscription of Prime. Much appreciated. A good moment to point out that if you want to show your support for Speed 5, see more awesome content made like this. And subscribing on Twitch with Prime or otherwise is a fantastic way to do that. And keep this content coming. I think, yeah, I, I to be honest, I am not beating the Corbett hater allegations. We've, we've, as has been said before, I don't think he can unify Mesoamerica in the next 48 minutes. It's to be clear, this is not a slight. I, I, I think Corbett would agree. This is not a slight. Unifying Mesoamerica in an hour is really, really hard. Um, like really extremely challenging. So the idea that, uh, he, he might not pull that off, I think is, is reasonable. He could, of course he could definitely uh i'm definitely not ruling it out but we'll see we'll see mm. i just not realized sure. that the caribbean node actually might have um a secondary nation mm. <laughs> as i'm looking at the new world here we'll talk about that later okay uh, interesting yeah um he could also go for say rio grande node you can take out some of the smaller natives there um mm, you would have mm. to do a little bit of conquering like he would have to take out lipan wichita and Quastec. that's mm -hmm. it unless anybody else migrated in that particular node right nobody else mm -hmm. migrated then he could oh no actually the pueblo people are also on the same node so mm -hmm. never mind mm -hmm. there goes that idea mm -hmm. and i think uh so chat has various opinions on how easy it is to unify mesoamerica i think the one i think of I think I agree with the most is definitely maybe possible from Yeti Kings, which I mean, that sounds right to me. It's definitely maybe possible. I don't believe, but it could happen. It could happen. And I'm always happy to be wrong. I've settled into my role as the uh, as the hater <laughs> in this show so far. I'm the disbeliever. and That's OK. It's OK. I don't mind having a role. But uh, yeah, Doom shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, looking pretty darn good. Just kind of piecing it. And also, Corbett really showing his kind of speed gaming perspective here, uh, speed gaming ability here. He's managing to uh, to organize these sieges really, really fast, managing to push through. It's pretty good. Christo the Doubter and Ludi the Believer. Yeah, I need that. I need the, um, you know, the the painting of... We're, we're going to get Cerebral here for a second, Jack. You know the painting of Aristotle and Plato, where... where Aristotle is uh, is goes hand out and he's like here the material world and Plato is pointing up at the sky. That's you going like I think they're gonna score somewhere up here and I'm going like nah nah come on keep it on the real <laughs> keep it on the real down here. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. 
<laughs> I need the. Uh, I, I should make that meme <laughs> before next week. Is that uh, that's? A, I, I think of us as as an Aristotle and Plato style pair. I think it's uh, it's. I don't. I mean, I don't think that's too braggadocious to say. We're we're pretty much on that level. I mean, I don't know about you, but my ancestors were probably the dudes that cleaned the stables of those two, so... <laughs> I don't know. That seems like a pretty good job in an era where, like, almost everyone is a farmer. I, I, I mean, I think you might clean some true, stables true. as a farmer, true, but that's, that's, that sounds good. That sounds good. It's the yin and yang. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right. Corbett, what are you going to do here? What are you going to do here? It's looking pretty good. I mean, right now he's facing no challenges. Obviously, the Aztecs find themselves in an incredibly dominant position uh, near the beginning of U4. Access to so many gold mines. Putting themselves in a really, really strong position. They start with some excellent leaders. Could be good. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Let's check in on Cleo. How many personal units has she lost so far? My lord, she's already sieging Albania. Hey, okay. interesting. She... But just to just to kick him out of a Valachian war. Yeah, okay. I think it's just for the Valachian war. <clears throat> mm -hmm. How many? I suppose one nation she could release would be Byzantium. That would be pretty hard to do, though. Uh, or Bulgaria, right? Yeah, I think we did establish that Bulgaria is enough. It's eleven provinces, Bulgaria. Yeah, but you have to. That's if you release it from both Ottoman and Serbian land. I think, right? No, no, only from Ottoman. Uh, really, Serbia, ten in Ottoman. Okay, okay. Serbia doesn't start with any Ottoman, uh, w with any Bulgarian provinces. Oh, I thought it had one. I thought Nis no, was. No, no. Uh, no, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Bulgaria's got uh, Uskup, Ohri, basically modern northern Macedonia. <laughs> yeah. Bulgaria proper and uh, Bursa. Mm, mm. Makes sense. Makes sense. I really like this <laughs> Nerm in chat. A name. I'm not sure how I'm saying your name, but I really like this. So the little pop up in the top right on. Uh, on Cleo's gameplay, Skanderberg will remember that <laughs> when you come in and siege down and then leave immediately. <laughs> Here is another possibility, though. It looks like potentially uh, the Moldova vassal feed into annexation into release could work. Um, we're up to what is that? That's 10, isn't it already? What did you yeah, that's 10 provinces right there. So if she were to diplo vassalize um, uh, Moldova right now, then she would be able to. Um, to re-release them again as a 10 province uh, subject. So that would work. That would work. Um, ooh, Hungary and the military coalition. That seems poor. <laughs> not, not sure if that was the idea. She's not going for the coalition challenge. So, <laughs> but the instant Wait, declare before trying, the coalition can get is she trying oh, to, yeah. Is she trying to make B B Moldova a 10 province nation? That is what I was just saying, yes. And she already has. They are, they are now a 10 province nation. That doesn't count, right? Because it has to start as a 10 She would have to nation. annex it and then release them again. She's not going for vassalize a 10 province nation. She's going for release. Why not just provinces. release from Bul Bulgaria from Ottomans then? You could. You could, but you have to, you'd have to take all of the Bulgarian provinces in a war and then release them again. Um, because it's, it has to be released through the... Uh, uh, through right, the, right, right. Interaction, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is quite a lot of land to be taking off the Ottomans. I mean, it's doable, mm. of course, but... We'll Let's see. check. Is it doable? You mean Diplo Annex? Yes. Did, did I say something else? It's my bad. It's certainly doable. I mean, this is this is pedal to the metal on uh, on going after Hungary here. It's looking tricky. It's definitely mm. looking tricky. I mean, with the with the amount of aggressive expansion mm. that things are already forming, like Ingolstadt, mm. she's got Bavarian miners mm. joining uh, joining a coalition against her, and she's still pushing for the personal union on Hungary? That seems... Well, I mean, we expected her to make big actually, plays, right? It would actually cost her 80% war score to annex all of the Bulgarian provinces and then just release them after. Oh, it's very doable. And so obviously, that's there's a only very aggressive expansion. War against the Ottomans early on. Yeah, and only, uh, only the Sunni in the area would really care about the aggressive expansion, which means it's not going to make her HRE problem much worse. I'm not feeling this war, though. I think, I think this... I think this is really bad because the the aggressive expansion is just too much. Tech five is going to help, but she's not super early on it. She's a bit early, but she's not super early. Mm. Mm. 1460 is when the Danzig Confederation triggers. Yeah. 1460 and above. Yeah, so nine years left on that one. Only 40 minutes left. Mm. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. 
God, and Cleo, Cleo has been out here fighting for her life in these challenges. The fact that she's playing the same nation again, I really like, by the way. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> she's it's like, okay, we've tried it. We've tried it. And now things didn't go last time, so we'll do it. Let's take a moment. Yeah, chat asking. It's a very good point. Let's take a moment to review what are the challenges. Right now, Cleo has left to do six subjects, and they must be below 25% liberty desire. Seven missions, and she also must complete seven subject missions. Three world ports. Own both sides of two straight crossings. 55% crown land. Pillage the capital of a great power. Release a nation, that means uh, not through a peace deal, through the actual the inter the interaction from the diplomat menu. Release a nation with 10 provinces. And 100 prestige and 100 legitimacy. That's tough. It's tough. There's a lot left to do. Why is she not improving with Bohemia? You're right, that's a good point. <laughs> she should probably be improving with Bohemia. Because if she dies right now, I'm pretty sure she loses that PU, which would be bad. It would be bad. <laughs> oh. it's, it's, it's one thing that's worth mentioning is she's playing not only for to be able to battle for third place, she's also playing to not be last. Because if she can get five points, then she can at least draw Aldra and join the two-digit score club which everyone else has uh, so far now managed to pull themselves into. She's got this. She could, uh, she can only get five. She, in order to get five points, she'd need to get, what is that? Eight completed. No, she'd need to get, in order to get into the double digit club, she needs to get, only miss one challenge. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. Oh, wow. uh, is that right? Yes, I think that is right. But because if she got, uh, so what do you Eight. think she would be she would uh, struggle with the most out of all the objectives then? There are there are two concerns I have right now about um Cleo's game. One are specific challenges that she may miss. And one is she might just it might just all fall apart. Right? And the second one is the one I'm more concerned about right now because this coalition situation seems bad. Like I'm I'm not happy about this coalition situation. But in terms of specific missions that I think she might miss. If she gets eight and wins, she gets six points total. Yes, true. Okay, okay, that's true. It's a good point. If she gets eight and wins, then she would... Uh... Wait, no, that's not right. If she gets eight and wins and Corbett gets all six of his done, she gets seven points total. No. Fuck, oh, wait. I'm so confused. Hang on, hang on. Let's do the maths. We'll do it live. Okay, so let's say Corbett gets six missions. He has six points. Let's say Cleo gets eight points, right? Sorry, let's say Cleo gets seven. Uh, hello. You, you Lord. lost me. You lost I, me. Like I know. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go back. We'll start again. We'll start again. We'll start again. Okay, okay. Stay with me. Stay with me here. Stay with me. Okay. Corbett gets six challenges completed. He has six points. Cleo gets eight challenges completed. That's eight points. Two, that would mean she got two not completed. That's minus four. That puts her at four points. That means she hasn't won which means she doesn't get any bonuses. She only gets four points. She stays in the single-digit club. She remains lonely as the only member of the single-digit club. However, she needs to get nine completed. She gets nine completed. She missed one. That gives her seven points. That means she beats Corbett. That means she gets two bonus points. That means she gets nine total points, which means that she goes into the two-digit club. However, it gets more complicated because what if Corbett gets less than six challenges? If Corbett gets misses one, and the one he's most likely to miss is definitely most sides in the known world, then I think he might indeed miss it. And then we see the situation where Cleo gets into a situation where she can get seven challenges completed, but then she misses three. If she misses three and she gets seven completed, that means she gets one point. That's no good. So she needs to get eight challenges completed, which means that she gets minus four, which means that she goes down to four points, which means that she's one on four points because Corbett has three points, which means she puts her at six points, and then she gets 11, and that's a double digit. Nerd. There you go. <laughs> Word. <laughs> That's, uh, that was pretty impressive. That was pretty impressive. Thank you. Thank you. I missed out on my, my I'm, I'm alternate thoroughly, career. I'm thoroughly impressed. Thank you. I missed out on my alternate career as a, um, a horse VTuber. race commentator. Or a VTuber doing bad maths, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. 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 But seriously, though, what is up with, um, what is up with uh, that one objective over there? Hundred prestige and legitimacy. <laughs> why? What? Why is that one always the most troublesome? I, I think mm. that might be the one that everyone's going to be struggling with. 
Actually, how come Aldrahill was the first one to achieve it, wasn't he? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. I think, also, uh, uh, on both sides of two straight passings is literally just three provinces because uh, also is connects two straights. <laughs> So what? it goes for the Livonian order in the north. Oh yes, yes, true, true. So that's for big right there. Yeah. Mm. Also in the adjacent provinces. Yeah. Check in on Corbett. Looking pretty good here. Yes, yeah, true. Chewy, Chewy did get the hundred prestige, hundred SPC as Austria. But let's see. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I think Slavic may have also got it, but oh, so then it's not, not bait. Sure. It's not see. completely bait, but it's it's been it's been certainly tricky. It's certainly been tricky. Who failed it then? I'm actually curious now. Um, I'm not certain. I'm not certain. I, I've, I've been doing pretty well, I'd say, at remembering who's done what, but we're now at the point where our players have taken on a total of like 350 different challenges across four weeks, and I'm Let, not sure. Let's analyze a little head. bit, Corbett, here. So he mm -hmm. has got 25 minutes left. No, 35 minutes left. Mm -hmm. And he's got roughly 30, 30 to 40 percent of the region i wouldn't say 40 30, mm, 30. Say. yeah 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 what do you think are you gonna get it i i remain a hater i i was born a hater and the hater i remain i think i don't think he can do it i mean he might he might and to be clear for those that haven't been here for the whole joke you know there's no hate involved in this hater arc but uh i think it's 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 a big big ask which, of course, puts Clear in a stronger position to be able to actually win and, and come through with uh, with more. And there is another mission completed for Clear. She has the missions objective done. Very nice. Very nice. A uh, question in chat that was asked earlier that I would like to clarify. People asking, what is revanchism? Revanchism is the thing that if you're playing EU4, you very rarely experience as the player. It, you, it is a modifier that you gain when you lose, um, when you lose land. In wars, you gain revanchism, which is kind of like a catch-up mechanic, basically. Revanchism, the, the word generally, means a desire for a nation to, to reclaim lost territories. Um, it's basically it's, revenge in English and French. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yep. And it's a, it's a word that you should uh, you should learn. It's a good good word to know. And uh, I only learned it from EU4. As with so much of my geography, my linguists, my linguistics has been improved by, uh, by playing EU4 as well. <laughs> All right. I think, I mean, what do you reckon about, about Corbett's? I mean, he's halfway through, as you say yourself, he's 30%. Ludi the Believer, do you still believe? I believe in Cleo. Cleo got huh. this. I think Cleo, Cleo may. Cleo got this. I think she may. I mean, Corbett, yep. there's definitely, you know, there's fight I mean, in the dog let's, yet. Let's, let's be honest here. Corbett's not in any danger of anything, right? He's got the points. He's second place. Mm. He, he, even if you loses every single objective today yeah he's, he's not hungry got, yeah he hasn't got the he exactly. hasn't got the hunger yeah 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 we'll see though we'll see let's take a look back over at cleo's perspective oh looking going up for the livonians there you go likely uh as you said probably trying to go for um what we discussed minus three stability i guess she knows cb her way up here certainly oh no wait it's 1445 Wait, what? Mm. Oh, God. She should go for the oh, objectives directly. Yeah, like I, she's doing it smartly now. She's going for uh, the Livonia yeah. so she can get the straights. Yeah. No more wasting time and stuff. Yeah, it looks like clear. She's going mean... to restart. She's gonna re she knows CB, the Livonian. She's yeah. going to restart after getting the... the thingies so this is a this is a strategy which you should you should Jeez. appreciate being allowed to watch this strategy chat because this strategy is going to die this week this is the last chance to yeah, see this strategy i fully agree with that yeah. this is the one challenge per run strategy that we are currently seeing employed she is probably essentially just going to attempt to complete only one challenge for each of these which is going to be interesting it's going to be interesting so the play here is for the two sides of a straight crossing, you have to imagine. Um, you can't... Mm, can you take 10 provinces? No, Templarians only have 9. Can we switch over to the objectives? I got a really short memory, so... No, it's all good. The thing that she's probably going for here is the two sides of a straight crossing. Um, but the question is... So with, with this... with this one, Oh no, and the, the Muscovites are in really here again. She cannot with the 10 provinces because it's got 9 provinces, Livonian, so... 
Yes, no, precisely. The Muscovites are gonna uh, are gonna screw her again, though, because the Muscovites have just occupied part mm. of the Livonians' land. She needs to make sure she's the one that sieges Ossal, which she's not really able to secure because they have control of the seas. Ooh, right. dear. Ooh, dear. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't see... I, I don't... Feel like I don't see a path. Yeah, it's it's gonna be very challenging. If I was her though, I would I would uh, put together with this restart before she does another restart. Take the provinces for the straits and also do the three world ports. Just loan up and get the because you got mm. the merchants. Get the world ports basically. You might well be right. You might well be right. I feel like uh, she has three centers of trade to start. I believe. Um, so she doesn't need to. Oh well, does she? No, I think she needs to integrate. Um. And Zobia. like, if she, if she, because she restarted that run that she had earlier, right? Her main uh, problem is going to be the crownless objective now, because she yeah. can only seize five percent, maybe fifteen, let's say, mm. within a few years. Mm. Right? She can say speed five, fifteen years, right? But um, she's basically going to have to make up the rest of that with just developing provinces, really. Mm. So it's going to come, it's going to cut it very close, because she would have to have a long run for that particular objective. Yes, which I agree. I agree. And she yeah. should also just do another run in which just attack the Ottomans, take Bulgaria, take the provinces and release. There you go. Easy money. Mm. Mm. Chat is right uh, that she probably should have got the six subjects in the previous run. Uh, she had the people to release. Yeah, to yeah that she can work. do it even now if she wants to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She the can difficulty release here, from there Estonia, is... Livonia. Uh, oh, which oh, 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 Muscovy... God kind of screwed her although not necessarily because she can take Ossel, Gullingen, I always forgot that province is called, Memel and Konigsberg. Uh, not Memel and Konigsberg sorry but Konigsberg and the, the one with the straight crossing to Konigsberg. No that's not a straight crossing though. Is it not? Oh no you're right no. it's technically a land it connection used isn't to be. it? It yeah, used to be but it's yeah. now considered yeah mm -hmm, it's a land mm -hmm. connection now. Yeah six vassals is certainly not easy because the, the liberty desire thing makes it a lot more tricky a lot more tricky. Let's zoom in here. I So we're, we're looking at a restart strat. So in this mission, what is that peace deal? What is that peace deal? Does she think it's still a straight crossing? It's oh, no. not a straight crossing. We should tell her. Just open the channel. I think, I, well, I don't know. I don't know. I think historically we've only given that kind of information when someone has tried to incorrectly call it rather than preemptively. But it is... The last point scoring run. Chat, real quick. We don't need to do a poll. Real quick. I want to. I want to. I want to get a one in chat for help and a two in chat for don't help. Whether you should. Whether we should point out that it's a crossing. One for no, yes. Two for no. You can also say no or yes. That's fine. But one for yes. Two for no. That is. It's pretty 50 50, to be honest. Yeah, she should restart. If I was her, I would restart. Mm, it's tricky. I mean, here is a restart. There you go. The Muscovites. Muscovites causing her problems. But that means that she probably doesn't need telling about it. But. And here's another thing, right? Um, restarting with your estates done mm. and with the same RNG that mm. you had with that particular run. I feel yep. like that shouldn't be allowed either. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But it's so much faster to actually get. The game loaded, but we, it we can talk about yeah. it. Between now and next one. We can talk about it. I mean, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. She's allowed to reload a save. It's worth noting the save was just the 1444 save from the start. It does make life easier in some ways because you're able to uh, secure the uh, the RNG of, of alliances and things, but I don't think it's... It's, a, it's, you know, there's always these things to balance around uh, where we, uh, where it's worth making problems because you're... That's uh, a pretty, pretty good advantage, though, having the same RNG, though. At the yeah, start, it's the true. Same, but start. if it's consistent across all players, then, you know, it doesn't really give too much. But, yeah, yeah. We should be, uh, we should do some clarity around it, though. I agree. I agree. But we can, I, and also, it's worth noting, if we bring something into new to reload stat, then it doesn't really matter. Because you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be wanting to reload saves too much anyway. Let's take a look here at Corbett's perspective. What are we thinking? I mean, 26 minutes left. I think, to be honest, you know what? Why not? I'm going to change sides. 
Didn't we stop someone from reloading saves? Yeah, but those were saves. That that save, reloading that save, is clearly being considered by Cleo the same as just restarting the, from the start. It's not reloading like an auto save that was already in the run. Just going back. And yes, they all have access to the same rules documents. So they should all have the right info. I'm going to change sides, though. I think Corbett can do it. Because those those nations in the north that he hasn't taken yet are one war. Though he does have a number of subjects. No, he vassalized everybody in the north. No, I think he did. There's one in the northwest, I think, that he hasn't. Oh, is he? I think so. But also, he's not going to be able to vassal annex all these subjects in time. Yeah, there we go. Tax Carlo, I think it's called. Um, it's not a subject. Tax Carlo. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see. Not in the document, though. Yeah, it's true. It's just because we haven't uh, defined what uh, what restart is. But okay, we can, uh, we can do that. We can talk about it. Ooh, that's not a great fight. That's a real bad fight. I would not take that one. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Moving into Highlands. Oh, but it's a subject, so he's got the terrain penalty on his side. Oh, nice, 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 nice. nice. Very good stuff. Does he have the military tech advantage also? I'm guessing he does, right? Uh, yes. Yes, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, I'm sure he's that. And he's got 1,200 uh, mil points banked right now. Which he can use, of course, for all of those uh, those uh, wall breaches, right? No problem. Those good Aztec cannons. Should be, should be easy. Mm, coming south? Could be. Could be. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. The other thing that's worth noting, Corbett right now, he's got one challenge completed. <laughs> he's Wait, got only five one to go. Really? Yeah, let's take a look here. <laughs> he still needs to unite his culture group. He really should be able to do that one. Um, but something that I'm not certain Corbett knows, unite your culture group requires you to own... Well, hang on, let me check. check. Own all the provinces. That's how we did it in the past of the run, so... Just to making the provinces, certain. Right? I think you are right, but I just want to uh, validate that that is definitely what I put in the doc. Where has it gone? Unite. Unite your culture group. Uh, yes, control all provinces that are in your culture group. Does not mean that you have to own them. Uh, own the What you're thinking of is that in order to unite your culture group before the age objective, you have to own all the provinces. Whereas doing it with subjects is enough, which explains why he's putting all these subjects in the north there. So, that makes sense. That makes sense. Ah, good point. He could also reform to drop them. Saffron, thank you very much for pointing out in the chat. I appreciate it. Yes, it is indeed control, not own, for culture group. It looks like he is uh, done on that one, right? Yeah, nice. All done. All subjects, all in there, all being checked off. Beautiful. So that's two challenges completed. Own 15 coastal provinces. He's pretty close on that one, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I put him at 13 coastal provinces right now. So one more war. Uh, and that is all good for two do, inclu do we include the uh, subject provinces because he's got a subject with the coastal provinces we well. do not that one is own how i am defining it and i put this in the doc is that you have own means have directly control means own or have a subject control own or have a subject own rather so it's definitely possible and then over 50 corruption he's clearly going to get that one he's already at 30 he's trending the right way not concerned about that one so it all comes down you know a, a moment ago we were saying he's only got one of six challenges done now we're saying He's got them in the bag except one. <laughs> so it's definitely going uh, definitely going all over the place on that one. We'll see. Let's check in on what the heck Cleo is cooking up right now. It's 1447. <laughs> and the war with the Ottoman is about to be declared, it looks like. Moldova is a march. Lithuania is a PU. All without unpausing. <laughs> nice. We're going to see a war with the old Ottoman. And then presumably a um, a Bulgaria play, right? What we've been talking about all this time. Yeah, yeah. And uh, can you know CB into she, a Bulgaria she play? She would get the subject as well after the Bulgarian bid. Oh yes, of course. Yes, of course. That makes sense. That makes sense. Clear. It's gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be challenge. It's gonna be really challenging. And yeah, as chat is saying, 
It's really, really close. And it's it's still anybody's game. I'm confused. Why is she no CB? She can get a CB on the Ottomans, though. Hurry. Just in a real hurry, I guess. But I yes. agree. I mean, you'd think it would be faster to wait the extra time, get the CB. You know, it's 25 war score. You don't have to get some other way, right? Yeah. Mm. But we'll see. We'll see. Ottoman charging in there. Wow, look at that. Scorched Earth being deployed. That's not not often you see that being uh, used. But the allied Lithuanian forces managing to drive back the first Ottoman army, but not the second, even with the terrain penalty against them. Wow, crunching through. Oh, bit of an unfortunate play there. Moving. I just realized there's 20 minutes left. Wow. I know. I'm going to go ahead and long. say that it's not going to be easy. Oh, I mean... especially not with that outcome. Oh, man. Yeah, that is some relatable mouse movement right there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's a restart <laughs> for sure. Unless she's going full on and she's getting mercs. I agree. I would I get agree. mercs in her situation, though, to be fair. I mean, yeah, that's... I, I don't... I mean, she's got a good war going. Adding the mercs in at this point does make sense, I feel like. And it but looks like well, that is the perk she's going to go for. Get the world ports as well after yeah. the war yeah yeah possible possible no time yeah i mean uh, chat, chat saying that she, they think cleo is picking too many missions i really don't think cleo had a choice about how many missions to pick this week she had to pick them. it was 10 missions or it was you know not uh you know she was out essentially because even with 10 missions chewy still is in a very powerful position to be able to come over top and deny her that spot in the finals uh, in the uh, the semi-finals, that is to say, or well, not exactly the semi-finals, but the uh, you know the uh, the bronze competition uh, next week. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be it's gonna be close. Cleo has, I mean, yeah. Let's take a look at this because it's it can be a little overwhelming. Cleo has a lot left to do and nineteen minutes to try. Oh and boy, that's actually a lot. But it's easy to do though. Most of them, not all of them. I, I'm guessing the Crownlands is out of the question at this point. But it still does doable, seem real tough. But yeah. I would say do the world port, release the vassal, do the su six subjects, restart, get the two straight crossings. She can do the pillage capital in this war as well against the Ottomans. So can that she? would be the can she, Does she have enough war score for she, that and, she does. and Bulgaria? It's, it should be 80% to get um, the Bulgarian provinces. Let me double check mm -hmm. in single player. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be real close, but... Mm. Could you release and play as a subject for the Crownland one? That's actually... A yeah, that's, good idea. that's a good idea. I hadn't thought that at all. No one's thought what of that. What are the so rules far. of that? No, one, no, 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 there's no, it's not bands. No one, no one's, no one's not come up at all. So, yeah, yeah, could happen. Could happen. Yeah, uh, Zloic is correct. If both sides uh, get the same number of points, then they each get one point. Uh, as a, in the case of the draw, the winner's points are divided evenly. They do not have to have picked the same number of missions, though. That happens whenever they get the same points, even if that's because. One person picked more challenges, you know, but missed more, and so on. Any situation where you get that is, is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, she can add pillage as well. She would miss out on one province. Mm, that's unfortunate. So she'd have to probably just truce break straight away if she could put herself in a situation to hold it. But actually, no, I'm wrong because it's eleven provinces for Bulgaria, so she just needs ah, so 10. she could miss one of them. Yeah, yeah she yeah, can yeah. miss one. Yeah, she could do it. She could do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's possible. It's certainly possible. Oh, but that's not yeah, a good she could She could pillage and she could get 10 no. provinces. Macedonia no. and Bulgaria, basically. That right there is an F. I don't see... I... Look at that! 3.8! 3.8 morale in 1450. Ow! Ow! Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. So, Cleo, right, has 17 minutes left. And she's still finding the time. To be sassy in the internal discord <laughs> she's right up against the clock and yet she's tabbing out to go to the discord and going yeah okay all right to that ottoman morale <laughs> that's a gamer right there let's take a look over at corbett's perspective look at this going pretty well going pretty well i mean i i think he could do it honestly with 16 oh, wow. minutes now yeah, that's this is really good progress, through. actually. He can do yeah, it. Yeah, and that's Coastal Provinces completed. He's got 
16 minutes easy mode. Hell yeah, uh -huh. it's like two wars against those big hole, those big blocks in the east, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely it's definitely doable. The challenge is though for the most sailors in the known world, he needs his vassals to not exist. So yeah, I think he's he he's gonna be able to be the only person in the great power menu. You know the 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 kind of the the world world conquest test, but I don't think he's gonna be able to be the only tag. I think releasing these vassals, I mean. Presumably, he's made it such that none of his vassals have any forts um, by taking their capitals in the cases where they have capital forts and then uh, vassalizing the rest of them. It looks to me like that is what he's done. So we'll be able to siege him down really, really quickly. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh my god, good point, chat. Look at his doom. He was at 88 doom for a second there. He's gaining three a month. Oh man, 87. We might see Doomfire. That would be bad. That's... Wow. Okay. <laughs> Doom, I mean, yeah, it's it's not that hard to keep down as long as you're constantly at war. But the second you let it get away from you, it, it goes fast. It goes fast. Chat's telling me that we Definitely. have hit 93 at one point. I mean, that is <laughs> that is one of the one of the best pop-ups in, in EU4, which makes you worry when you're playing like Portugal or something. Get a power up that just goes doomsday. And you start freaking out about what the heck's going on. But I mean, this is this is gonna be tricky. This is gonna be tricky. Ten war exhaustion, doom ticking up at quite a rate. Hey, there's a little bit of doom reduction for him. That'll hold him for three months. But we will see. We will see. I mean, he's, he's at sixty. He's got a good couple of years, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that's his vassals in the north liberated. By the way, looks like. At least some of them. Um, so he's probably hit the reform. I, I believe he had those uh, the blue blue northern guy there. I'm not totally certain about this, but anti kill vassal leaders to reduce it. It's true, but the problem is with 14 minutes left, playing at speed five, you don't have you you, you don't feel like you have the time or the mental headspace to be like bouncing around, I think the mental, all these different stuff. The mental headspace is the biggest issue you would have in this kind yeah. of a situation. Even if you had the time, you would stress out about it and you wouldn't really yeah. focus properly. I think that's what happens with a lot of our players. It's an element of the challenge that is might go somewhat unnoticed by uh, by viewers, but our players have been doing extremely well at handling that. It's very rare. It does happen. And we make jokes, right, about VTubers not being able to count and stuff, but all that is, in all the situations where the players are making dumb mistakes, is because they're trying to think of so many things in such a little time, and they've really been doing it really really well speaking of not doing really really well let's go take a look at Cleo's. oh she's actually doing pretty well no this game's going well okay she hasn't got muscovy causing problems she's got to run at both sides wow, of chat. crossing wow chat what a hater <laughs> this crystal guy i swear <laughs> look i'm embracing my role as the hater commentator and you know at some point you just have to go for it at some point you just have to go for it we'll see we'll see she wants the three ports uh for the world ports Oh, sorry, I'm an idiot. I was thinking, it's the challenge that I wrote and I clarified it had to be world ports and I had forgotten. I was thinking it was just three level trade centers. Of course, yeah, yeah. of course, of course, of course. She needs to do this war here to get the world port stuff. So now is the perfect time for that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it will take time for them to get cored with only 12 minutes for you on the clock. Oof. 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 It's going to be difficult. What's the easiest great power pillage that Cleo could run? As an early game Poland. Ottomans and release Bulgaria. Did she do that yet? Or what happened? No, there? no, it didn't she work. Reset? The Ottomans okay. yoinked the life with their 3.8 morale. They uh they drove her to sass in the Discord. <laughs> Which I mean we can I all take relate memo, to. Memo, it's less war score. Yep. Yep, yep. That is what she's looking at, it seems. It seems. But yeah, not a uh, she she presumably knows it's not a crossing because she has managed to get all of the Livonians under control now, meaning that she can take Ossel. Obviously, she doesn't need to full annex them, so the fact that Oswald's not occupied shouldn't matter. There's no fort there or anything. It's not going to cause a problem there. It's going to be it's going to be real darn close. Uh, and obviously, the fact that it's an OCB war, so there's no war goal, not helping with the war score. But there we go, fully occupied. Oh, sorry, no, one more siege. Very nearly fully occupied. But we'll see. We'll see. There is the peace deal. Grab right. them. Pouring them up. Second piece of the incoming. Come on, come mm -hmm, on, we got this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, coalition already beginning to form. Doesn't matter. Could. Restart's about to happen as well. 
Well, she'll need the she'll need enough. No, she need to call them before she can upgrade the world ports. Is yeah, the challenge. That'll be fine. Hmm. I don't know. She can hang she's in got, there. She's got a lot of coring to do. <laughs> and she's got to wait for these first two cores she to get built. She knows CB them. She did, yeah. Doesn't she get missions, though? She claims on all of the Livonian lands, though. I think you need manpower gain before you can f start firing the missions. I could be wrong. Let me go back into single player um, again. But there's, I, th I believe there's something that delays it. Oh my god, that's a big coalition. That's a big coalition. Guys... Guys, I I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. With she's ten got minutes the straight, left, at least she's got the straights. I don't think it's gonna happen. She has got the straights, of course, yes, but I just don't see a way. I just don't see a way. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, I'd restart. That. She's she's giving up. That's it. That's the way. The coalition is forming. The coalition is growing. And she's offering to give up Lithuania. But Salzburg is not having it. It's a 100% offer and Salzburg is not having it. Oh, that's not great. That's not great. What is it that they're demanding? I didn't see. Um, I, don't, I don't know if she's actually hovered yet. But they must have... If they're not accepting a 100% offer, they she must have some specific thing. Yeah, yeah. They want a specific thing for sure. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see. What, what did it say? I don't know. Estonia. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No! She tried so hard and got so far. Look at that war! It's the whole HRE and the whole of Scandinavia and Hungary. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, yeah, just exactly. Thank you, chat. Chat has the correct solution. Just win the war. Or head. She looks like she is going back to 1444. And we are going to be taking a look here at Corbett. I mean, Corbett, nine minutes left. There's one level three. Sorry, one. Yeah, it is level three, four left. That takes a little while. It's not coastal, at least. Although that wouldn't matter. With the... Oh, no. Doomsday. <laughs> It happened. It happened right as we tagged back over. <laughs> so Doomsday, if I'm not mistaken, kills your leader and your heir and gives you a 0, 0, 0 leader and a 0, 0, 0 heir, I think. Um, as well as tanking your, your legitimacy. But there it is. Ludi, can I get your best Doomsday, please? Doomsday. Oh my, this guy. This guy. Come on, come on! You can you can at least get a little bit of a doomsday going on. Come on, I believe you. One more try. This guy, honestly, honestly. <laughs> oh dear! I mean, it's still it's still possible, but it looks like it's possible both of our players will walk away from their final ever match in the point scoring rounds with zero points. <laughs> it's not unthinkable. The way that happens is um, if Corbett fails to get all provinces in the trade node and sailors in the known world, because that would put him at, you know, four completed, do not. Because we're assuming he's going to get corruption, which he's extremely close to getting. Yep. But temporary insanity of the monarch. Well, the guy is a zero, zero, zero. What really can you be expecting of him? But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really see a way. Not least because, yeah, someone does actually have more than 100 sailors that's in range of him. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be able to get uh, being the only tag. So it's almost certain, I would say, that at best, Orbit is looking at, what would that be? 5-1 uh, not completed, so three points. Uh, but winning, so that would put him up to five points. Um, but yeah, it's, it's the difference that one can make. I mean, but yeah, it's, it's not looking great. It's not looking great. Aztec remains the the graveyard of champions i'd say poland's the graveyard of champions mm. well poland and lithuania both been proving themselves to be uh poison pills although corbett did do pretty well with lithuania in the end um chewie had some real trouble but corbett no doubt learning leaning leaning on corbett's experience no doubt but and yeah there's the 50 corruption let's take a look back over at clear i mean 
<laughs> oh man, look at this. <laughs> this looks very familiar. <laughs> it's Cleo. Cleo with six minutes left, fighting the first war you do in a Poland campaign. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's not looking great. It's not looking great, is it? <laughs> I mean... <sighs> oh, It's, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what there is to say about that. It's, uh, I don't really see a way that this could turn around. It's a 1444 moment, exactly. It's, uh, it's just not going her way. But the dream lives on. She, no, well, I was going to say she might be able to get positive score, but actually taking a look here, I don't see, I don't see no. a way. I mean, it would no, be... I mean, she's, she would need to do at least three, yeah. four more objectives. Yeah, which the is sad part really is like she tough. was so close to so many of this, like I know so close to the subjects, the release yeah. of nation with ten provinces. Yeah, oh, so close. Energy capital. It was. It was yeah. all. It's it, as with a few of Cleo's runs so far in this tournament, she's been just gr grasping at greatness. It's been just out of reach so often. Yeah, the problem is even if she restarts and gets the six subjects and fifty-five percent crown land. She's still negative because that's six completed, four not completed for a total of minus two. So, I, I yeah, it's, it's just out of reach. Just out of reach. It's very, very tricky. Let's take a look at Corbett here as we approach the final minutes. Can he beat the Mesoamerican failed overlord allegations? We will see. We will see. Yeah, more... <laughs> More restarts than challenges completed right now. I heard side. that um, if he completes this, he has to change his background to a jungle. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's part of the contract, right? Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It makes sense. We should give a, a four-minute warning, though, so I'm just going to hop into both players and do that. Gorby, this is your four-minute warning. Good luck, good luck. Oh, oh, boy. Thank you. Yeah, that is a that is a relatable-sounding voice. Let's see, see how Claire reacts. Cleo, this is your four-minute warning. Uh, can I can I get an extension? I I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what? You, you have to apply <laughs> for extensions with extenuating circumstances mm. at least twenty four hours before the deadline. So my pool's on fire. <laughs> your pool is on fire. Why do you need your pool? Yeah. Why do you... Uh, because <laughs> I'm gonna pour it over my computer. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's relatable. You could throw the computer into the pool. Because if it's on fire, that would serve the same function. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I, I'm going uh, to... It's relatable. It's relatable. I just wanted to point out, chat I've was had... extremely enthused by you taking the time to come and sass in Discord about the Ottoman morale while having like 14 Look, okay, minutes left. So <laughs> I, I, did, I, I did a test run, right? I mean, this is over. Like, uh -huh. I don't think I can get anything left. Um, I did a test run. All the challenges I did, I managed to do it. I'm really dehydrated. Mm -hmm. Did all the challenges and like Muscovy becomes great power pillage easy. Oh, um, release, Muscovy pillage, release, right. Um, yeah, release Bulgaria easy. Um, uh -huh. Get the six subjects. I actually got six subjects. I forgot to call it and I'm not going to count it because I think that's probably fair. In they probably it. weren't under 25 um, Liberty Desire is my suspicion. No, they were, they were, they were. They were. I, oh, right. I got hungry. Um, I did manage to finish the. I think I finished the hungry war. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then there are about fifty liberty desire. Mm. So you just do support liber um What is it? Support loyalists. Mm. And then I just dev a bunch, and that was it. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna count it because. Fair enough. I kind of messed up. I messed up. Kind kinda. You did restart. Yeah. About nine times. Yeah, I also think I might have, after the Hungry War, hit the 100 Prestige and Legitimacy, and I forgot to call that as well. So it's, 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 uh, yeah, I'm just speed fighting to my demise. Yeah. The moral of the story is uh, get enough sleep, kids. It's, it's important. Yeah. Yeah. I tried I mean, to get what five time hours. Is it now? I, I got two. It is 4 <laughs> That's it. There you go. Well, you're doing very well. I think, I think we're going to spend the last deserves... minute and a half watching Corbett fail to unite Mesoamerica. Yeah, go for at it. Least give go you some it. solace in that one. <laughs> but good luck. 
I think Leo deserves at least 10 points for staying up late that that late, you know? It looks like Corbett is also saying it's over. Okay, let's let's talk to Corbett. Corbett, you've got a minute left. You don't have to use it, but talk to us. Talk to us about what we're wrong, what went wrong here. Uh, okay, so I kind of didn't realize, maybe this was like a recent change, but like when you use the Flower War CB, you have to vassalize yeah. whoever you're fighting. <laughs> So, oh, yes, that's um, true. You know, that's, fun. that's not recent. That's like 2016. That's not I'm recent. Afraid. That's crazy because no. I haven't played Aztec since before <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's always changed. been like that. <laughs> that is, uh, that's certainly a monkey wrench. That certainly throws a problem um, in there. <laughs> yeah, so that's why there's so many OPMs here. Uh, and then uh -huh. I tried to see if I could use boats um, to like overcharge my sailors, but I can't do that. <laughs> nope. No um, boats. Yeah, and, and can't go I was trying the to see how to. Yeah, but Yaki, Yaki had 116, but I don't know how they did that. So I'm trying to figure out how they did that. <laughs> Those darn cheating Yakians are, are, are just I, I getting, have no idea squeezing what out a couple extra sailors. Now, now it's <laughs> back to 100, but they had 116. <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know. Oh. I think that's it for me. Well, that's time uh, mm -hmm. in, in three seconds. So it's a pleasure. We'll, we'll okay. talk to you again, obviously, in just a moment. But good round, good round. Okay, and for a final look at the end state on Clear's side, I mean, that, it's pretty intense stuff. We saw. <laughs> I'm loving, I'm loving the the new rare looties that we get every time. Get yeah, these different things coming in here. So who wins? Well, that's puts me in the unenviable position of having to make a ruling. So, do and I, the answer is no. I think. Unfortunately, the answer is no, but do we count challenges that Cleo completed but didn't call? And no. tragically, I don't want to I don't want to be the bad guy, but but no, right? I mean, the rules have I mean, for, been pretty clear mm -hmm. from the start that have. you have to call the uh, mm -hmm. you have to, mm -hmm. you have to call you have to call the quest uh, as it has been completed, Dude. which is a bummer, but it's also the only way for us to keep track of the quest. Of course. Of course. Which means that puts us in a final position where Cleo completed four of her ambitious 10, giving her a total score of minus two because she loses, uh, sorry, no, significantly nope. worse than that. Yep. A total score of minus eight because she gets four points for the four completed and minus 12 for the six not completed. Uh, Corbett think... got four completed, two not completed for a total score of zero, but he does get two points for winning, putting him at a total of 29, and Cleo remains, tragically, heartbreakingly, the only player standing up and repping for the one-digit club, ending a run in the tournament at five points. With that said, I think minus eight is the top record for least amount of points scored. <laughs> it's true. It's I true. Think... Breaking records on the way out. <laughs> I think. I'm not... I'm. I mean, Cleo has always been the player who has flown closest to the sun and then uh, almost always had her uh, wings uh, melted off. It does seem that way. It but does seem that way. Plunging into the sea mm. while we, me, me and Ludi, of course, in this analogy, I guess her inventor father, watch on with just tragedy. Tragedy. I, I, we're, we're taking her. We're taking yeah. her. Backstage, backstage. Let's go. Oh God! Go I didn't notice you'd added the avatar. <laughs> really yep, good. yep, yep. Oh, okay, uh, Grace, Dot, Ludi. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to our players, so I'll see you uh, in the next duel. Well, okay. Uh, as as has been custom, uh, Corbett. <sighs> congratulations, uh, Cleo. <laughs> uh, what mm -hmm. the heck happened? Uh, Muscovy hates me with a passion. I don't know what I've done to Muscovites um, <laughs> that they have decided to ruin my day twice in two weeks. It, so that's fun. I th yeah, I think the I think I think the idea is you know don't pick Poland. Apparently, who knew? So the thing. Okay, I won't rant too much about it, but I did manage <laughs> to get. I technically got six done, but I forgot to yeah. call two of them. Sure. So yeah, yeah. that was my bad. Um, and I had, had this all planned out and in practice, like I did another three test runs, apparently three test runs is not enough. Um, 
because yeah why i didn't realize the ottomans if you don't 1444 no cb them which is what i did in a test run um if they get constantinople i guess they just get even stronger now that, that seems fun. to that seems to be the case it's it's yeah. a bummer it was uh, a spectacular failure to watch uh yeah. corbett uh how was your uh, aztec experience uh it was it was something for sure <laughs> i may have um underestimated the size of the mexico node maybe so that was Massive. fun uh and the doom and the doom mechanics um and maybe the flower war mechanics and maybe every mechanic with the aztecs <laughs> <laughs> i haven't played them in so long well yeah you, that's why you gotta flip well, yeah you did manage to get two oh, yeah, sweet I forgot points about that Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I, I don't know whether I should be happy or really sad. I, I <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Uh, it has told us something. Uh, we know for a fact that Cleo, unfortunately, you will not be joining us next week for the grand final. But it was yep. a pleasure having you here, and I wish it would have gone better because I felt like watching you play, as I mentioned previously, it was very much. You almost Hi, always. Carol. Yeah, high risk, high reward, and the risk almost never paid off, unfortunately. No, but I'm sure it made for fun watching. Maybe? It did, and that's <laughs> always what I'm after. Uh, Corbett, really looking forward to seeing you in the uh, grand final next week. You now uh, mm -hmm. get to have a break, uh, but thanks so much for playing both of you. Good luck, Corbett. Thank you for having me. And that is the end of the second duel tonight. The only question left to answer, and this is gonna this is gonna sound weird, but we've seen it fail before. Aldrahill and Chewy are currently both at ten points. Will Chewy get any points and make it into the grand final? We'll find out after this break. <laughs>